Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see a question today. So today's question, we are taking it up from the topic of sequence and series that is arithmetic progression. And uh, we are continuing our series of questions on JEE advanced. So this question, we have taken it from the year 2010. And in this question, we have been told that A1, A2, a3 till a11 are some real numbers satisfying the conditions that the value of the first term is 15 then we have been given a second condition that says 27 minus 2 a2 is greater than 0 and then the third condition that is given to us says a the base k is 2 times of a k minus 1 minus a k minus 2. So this is the third condition given to us. Further, they have told us that sum of the squares of the terms from a1 to a11 divided by 11 is equal to 90. So this is the fourth condition given to us. And we have been asked to find out what will be sum of all the terms from a1 to a11 divided by 11. So we have to find the value of this entire expression. And there are four options given to us. The first option tells us that minus 1. B is given to us as 0. C is given to us as 1. And D is given to us as 7. So we need to figure out what is the correct answer for the question here that is given to us. Now let's understand to solve this question. First of all, we haven't been given that the sequence is an arithmetic progression. So never assume that directly. We have been given that ak is equal to 2 times ak minus 1 minus ak minus 2 for the values of k from 3 to 11. Right. So this is given to us. So if I use the idea here, let's put k as 3 in this expression. What I get? a3 is equal to 2 times a2 minus a3 minus 2 that is 1. So this is third term, second term and first term. So you get here a3 is equal to 2 times of second term, you write that as second term plus second term minus first term. Take second term on the left, you get third minus second is equal to second minus first. So you get that the difference between the consecutive terms is a constant value. So we can say that the first three terms are in arithmetic. Because I just used it for k is equal to 3. But if you generalize this statement, a k is equal to a k minus 1 plus a k minus 1 minus a k minus 2. If you take this on the left, you get a k minus a k minus 1 is equal to a k minus 1 minus a k minus 2. So now if you see for all the values of k from 3 to 11, you have the difference between the consecutive terms being a constant value. And when the difference between the consecutive terms is a constant value, for all these 11 terms, we understand that the entire sequence that is given to us is in arithmetic progression. Because the difference between the consecutive terms is a constant. So now we know that the difference is constant. And once we know that the sequence is in arithmetic progression, we know our sequence of arithmetic progression terms are given as a, b plus d, a plus 2d, a plus 3d, likewise till a plus So these are our 11 terms. Now if I substitute the value of a as 15 here, you get this as 15, 15 plus d, 
15 plus 2d 15 plus 3d likewise the last term in this case will become 15 plus 10d so these are our 11 terms here this is a1 a2 a3 a4 and the last term that is a so these are our 11 terms here now let's try to solve this so we have been given a condition that says sum of the squares of the terms from a1 to a11 so that is sum of squares of all 11 terms divided by 11 that is given to us as 90 so this is the expression given to us now if i substitute the values we know a1 is 15 a2 i already know again it is 15 plus d a3 also we know it is 15 plus 2d then 15 plus 3d so square of all of them last term we also know 15 plus 10d the whole square upon 11 is equal to 90. now if you try to solve this expression you get 15 square here you have a plus b the whole square that is a square plus 2ab so 2 into 15 into d plus so if you write that a square plus 30d plus d square then you have a square plus 30d into 2 because of 2d plus d square into d square. like that you have the last term also 15 square plus 30d into 10 plus d square 10 square the whole thing upon 11 is equal to 90. so what we are trying to do here is we are trying to take out some things common already so we have here 15 square 11 times because there are 11 terms and in every term you can find this 15 square because it is a square right so 15 square is common into 11 times plus 30 d it is present from the second term to 11th term so 30 d is common you have here 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 till 10 so you have your sum of all the terms from 1 to 10 and plus you have d square so d square you have it here from the second term again common so here nothing is there means it's 1 square plus d square you have 2 square likewise till d square 10 square so if i take out d square common you have again 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square and 10 square the whole thing upon 11 is equal to so if you solve this expression you get 15 square into 11 plus 30d sum of all the terms from 1 to 10 we already know sum of all the terms from 1 to n if i write that you have that as n into n plus 1 upon so if you solve this you get 10 into 10 plus 1 that is 11 upon plus d squared Again, sum of squares of all the terms from 1 to 10, if you write that as well, you have that as 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square till n square. Again, that gives you n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1. So you have this expression again. So you get that also as, if I write that, you get that as n into n plus 1, so 10 into 10 plus 1, 11 into 2n plus 1, so 2 into 10, 10, that is 20, 20 plus 1, 21 upon 6. The whole thing is divided by 11. So if you write that, to 11, so I divided by 11 is equal to so you have it here as 90. Now if you solve this expression, I can see that all of the terms, so if I see the previous page, 
we had all of the terms can take out 11 from them and since all the other numbers are multiplied so you can take out 11 so you take out 11 common you get 15 square plus here if you try to cancel these expressions two ones are two fives are if you take out 11 common here also these are two fives are three ones are three sevens. so you have here 15 square plus Five into thirty that is one fifty D plus thirty five D square is equal to ninety. Dividing it by eleven again, so eleven eleven goes out. Now you get your thirty five D square plus one fifty D plus two twenty five minus ninety is equal to zero. So thirty five D square plus one fifty D plus 225 minus 90 that is 135 is equal to 0. If I take out 5 common here, so 5 if I divide throughout by the number 5 in the entire quadratic equation, you get 7d squared plus 30d. If I divide this also by 5, 5 twos are 10 and uh, 5 sevens are so 26. Now if I try to solve this, let's see. We want to find the two numbers that is product of 27 into 7, whatever comes out. And those two numbers should also add up to give us 30. So 27 into 7 I can take as 7. And uh, 27 I can split as 9 into 3 or 3 cubed. So if I take 1, 3 here with 7 and if I keep it here, so 9 and 21. Yeah. So these are the two numbers whose product is 27 into 7 and the sum of that also comes out 30. So if I solve this quadratic, you get 7d square plus 21d plus 9d plus 27 is equal to 0. 7 and d common, d plus 3 plus 9, d plus 3 is equal to 0. So d comes out to become minus 3 or minus 9. So we get two values for d, that is the difference. Now let's figure out which one of them is correct or let's see if both of them are correct. So if I put D as minus 3, A2 becomes 15 plus D that is 12. And if you put D as minus, what we got was 9 by 7. So you get A2 becoming 15 minus 9 by 7. That is 105 minus 9. So 96 by 7, that gives you, if I do a solve, that's 7, 1, the 7, 26, 7, 3, the 21, 50, 7, 7, the 49. So equivalent to some 13.7 something. Now we are getting these two values for A2, but the condition given to us is 27 minus A2, sorry, 2A2 greater than 0. If you solve this, you get 27 is greater than 2 times A2. Or you get that as A2 should be less than 27 by 2, that is 13. So if you solve this expression, we got A2's value should be less than 13.5. And this value of A2 does not satisfy that. We cannot have the difference being minus 9 by 7. So I understand that the only value of the difference I can have here is minus. So that is the correct answer. The difference can be only minus 3. Now let's figure out what we are asked for. We were asked to find sum of all the terms from A1 to A11. Upon 11. If I try to find that, basically we are finding sum of all the terms from 1 to 11. So it is 15 plus 15 plus D, 15 plus 2D. 15 plus 10 upon. Now we know some of all the terms in arithmetic progression is given by number of terms by 2. So 11 by first term plus next term. And 11 already covered this. in the denominator, then gets cancelled out. You get 30 plus 10t upon 2. 
if you substitute the value of d, you got you got that as minus three. So you got that as minus thirty upon two. Thirty minus thirty gives you zero. So you get the answer here that we were asked to find sum of the terms from a one to a eleven divided by eleven, and we got the answer there as zero. If you see the option that matches with the question, that is b. So b is the correct answer here for the question that is given. I hope you have understood how to solve the types of questions which is present on any progression. So in this question, we first needed to identify that the terms eleven given to us are in arithmetic progression. Once we found that out, then we just solved for the given expression, and that gave us the two values for the common difference, that is minus three and minus nine plus. If I put T as minus nine by seven, that does not satisfy my condition given for A two, that is second term. Only D equal to minus three satisfied that, so that's why we got D as minus three. Once we got that, then we just found out what we were asked for. We got the value of the expression that we were asked for as zero. So D becomes our condition. I'll meet you again tomorrow with the next question. Till then, you can like. share and subscribe to my channel also share this videos with your friends who are also involved in the preparation of jwe advanced thank you